get asked, you know, by the media, how, um, how do you get a seat at the table? And you know what? These women on this panel got a seat at the table because they didn't ask. They just pulled up a chair. How do you handle when things don't, don't, aren't all rosy? What's a big challenge you can share with us and how you attacked it? Everything's not as easy as it always appears on these lovely panels. And we want to hear about how you handle setbacks and how you view them. I go to curiosity and awe. Curiosity and awe. Those are the two feelings I want to feel as much as I can in this life. So if it's hard, I just try and get curious. What am I here to learn? What am I learning from this? How do I... And, uh, and then go to... When it's not hard, I just try and absorb the opportunity for awe. I feel like men are more embracing of risk. I'd love to hear uh, more perspective or examples here. So prove or disprove, essentially, um, that hypothesis. A label is limiting. Doesn't it doesn't a actually usually capture somebody? So why <laughs> take one on? So how is it different, and how do you want to kind of call out the opportunities and the challenges as a female executive? I really learned three things. Um, the first is it's absolutely essential that you not demonstrate gender bias in your networking. You have to network with men too, right? And when you're doing that, you have to let men be people too. You know, watching how the Alicia Yegersons and Alyssa Murphys and Alyssa Steele's dress, walk, talk, and conduct themselves is a real thing, right? Um, but I will say that um, show, demonstrating humanity and becoming friends with everybody is, is really important. Um, I think the last thing I would just remember is that it is an anthropological fact, and I, I don't think I'm making this up in this <laughs> little conversation, that in a typical human conversation of 30 minutes or so, women will use 20,000 words and men will use 7,000. So, listen. I kind of gave the call to action of we want more women starting yeah. up their own companies and yeah. getting going. How yeah. do we start to spark that environment in our, in our country and the world? The bottom line is that it goes back to um, figuring out the point at which you've decided that you have an idea that is so obvious to you, so important in the marketplace, that you were willing to go for it. Do women have to give up their soft side? I'm wearing pink shoes today, so <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I would ask, do men have to give up their soft side and their hard side? I, I sincerely hope not. I, I, you know, I think we should, we should take back bossy and sissy. Oh. <laughs> so tell this audience of women what you're great at. Oh, and great uh, um, <laughs> love. I really love when I we love. You do give. You give a lot. I love hard. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.